so I'm going to be doing a empties video today and I've collected a bunch of empties and it's almost this full so I'll be going by category so I hope you guys enjoy small small Garnier micellar cleansing water and I don't really fancy cleansing water so I just finished this one up but it is helpful when I have eyelash extensions in and I don't want to put oil on my eye yeah so that's all cleansing I have this so this is an Apu lavender cleansing oil um, they said it was meant for sensitive skin but it didn't do a very good job in cleansing my makeup so I went back to using cleansing cleansing balm so this is the Hamish Hamish All Clean Balm um, this was good I really liked it I mean it came with the spatula and it really removes your makeup well and emulsifies pretty well too so I would recommend this one but my favorite would still be Vanilla Co Cleanse It Zero. Um, I've tried the original version as well as this Radiance version. Uh, but I think they are all pretty much similar. Um, I just get whichever is cheapest. So yeah, I think they are all pretty good. So. True face washes pretty slowly. And I think I threw away um, the Cosrx. Clean it, uh, not clean it. Cos Cosrx. I finished the Cosrx Low pH Cleanser and I really like that one. I also tried the yeah, Salicylic Acid Cleanser and I like that one too. Um, but the only empty I have here is the Cute House Clean Clean Up AC Clean Up Daily Cleansing Foam. I really really like this face wash and I think it really helped with the little acne, fungal acne that I had and I don't get them anymore so I think this is a really good product. I do use like wash off mask like this one. It's the Laneige Pore Minimizing Pack. So it's a clay mask and I really like this. Um, I don't think Laneige makes this anymore but if they do, I would recommend that one. And another clay mask I tried was the Innisfree. Innisfree Jeju Volcanic Pore Clay Mask. I didn't like this at all. I think the texture was too stiff. Even when it was new, I still found it difficult to spread it along my face and it was a little too dry. Yeah, so maybe their new formulation is better, but I haven't got the chance to try it out yet. Eliza Becca Carbonated Bubble Clay Mask. I love this. The bubbling sensation makes it such a fun experience. Um, it's a little bit hard to get off, but it's, if it makes your skin really smooth and soft. And if I come across this, uh, I would get it again probably because it's really fun. So this is a Taiwanese brand, 23.5N. So this is the Oriental Beauty Tea Balancing Gel Mask. So I was recommended this product by a salesperson in Sasa and he said it would help with um, oily skin. So my skin's not super duper oily, like it's a combination. I get oily around my T-zone but I find this mask really really enjoyable it's like a gel texture and after you remove it your skin feels super soft and I would repurchase actually I already repurchased it because I enjoyed it a lot the next empty will be this Petit Fay Gold Golden Snail Hydro Dry El Hydro Gel Eye Mask um I don't really the point in it like it didn't really hydrate my under eye but I just used it up anyway so yeah so moving on to sheet mask I use sheet mask almost daily like at least five to four times I'll show you the Taiwanese sheet mask first so this is my favorite sheet mask for 
to help with your pores. It's a skin pore clarifying minimizing mask by My Scheming. So, yeah. This is good. I really like it. The next one is also My Scheming mask. So these two are the black black mask. So the sheet itself is black. It's really plush and this one is the Hyaluron Hydrating Black Mask and the Snail Essence Hydrating and Repairing Black Mask. So, these two are okay. They're not my favorite, but I think they did a pretty good job at moisturizing my skin. And, yeah. So, the next one is the competitor to my scheming is my Beauty Diary. So the two variant I have here is the aloe vera and the natto, natto version. So they're both drenched in essence and I think they did a really good job. So for the normal mask, I'm, I'm quite surprised to say I like the My Beauty Diary mask. So if you've come across My Beauty Diary mask, I think it's a very good inexpensive mask that you can use daily. For Korean cheat mask, so I have here the Altia A Bloom, A Bloom, A Bloom cheat mask. And my favorite variant is the AC Me Peach. So this one is meant for um acne prone skin, and I feel that this one really calms my acne down. This is my favorite. I've gone through like a pack of 10 already yeah and I have repurchased it so I really like this one and they also have I have the yeah, Evo Cuddle Me so this one's a nourishing one um, it's okay I like it it's more hydrating it's not all my way, but a lot of people like it so you can check it out and this is their new newest release so it's the Coco Me Up so this one's the coconut one and they also have a blueberry one so, I didn't like the scent of this because I don't like coconuts, but I think they improved the sheet mask itself because this one, I felt that it fit better than the older sheet mask. So, I'm quite impressed with this one. This one's meant for um, lifting. Uh, I didn't really see the lifting effect, but I only used one. So, I'm not too sure about the long-term effects, but I mean, it's worth trying it out. It's about... 3 ringgit per sheet so it's not it's quite affordable so you can try it out okay. so the rest of these are like other k-beauty bath and this one's from a pew sweet canola honey house mask so this one had a really nice honey scent so i really like honey it's probably meant for inflammation acne and i actually really enjoyed this one too and they're probably quite inexpensive because it's from a few. Yeah, it's good. Like it. The next one is this Papa Recipe Bombi Green Honey Mask Sheet. So the green one has contains avocado and parsley. So this Bombi Sheet Mask really helps with brightening your skin. So if you're looking for a brightening sheet mask that will help your complexion, like if you have an event to go to the next day or something, I really recommend this one. Uh, the one in the silver packaging is even more brightening, so I would opt for that one. But because I have like more acne prone skin, I chose this green version. Next one is this Yada. Yeah, the soothing mask pack. So yeah, I actually really enjoyed this one. I just picked it up on a whim from Watson's, and uh, I still think this is really good. So yeah, recommend the Face Shop Bio Biocellulose Face Mask. So this one is the firming one. Um, I really like the adherence. So for Biocellulose sheet masks, they usually um, adhere really well to your skin. So I think that. If you are looking for a biocellulose mask that you would like to try, I think the Face Shop one is a really good option. Yeah. And lastly, I have this one. This is the Ahishi Natural Essential Mask. So this is a nourishing mask for dry and rough skin. Um, uh, what's special about this shit mask is they have this um, thermometer. Thermometer here. 
So this thermometer, if you put it inside the fridge and it turns green, so that's when it's ready to use. So these are the toners that I've used. So I use a lot of toners because toners is one of the steps that I am more generous with. So I, I usually do a couple of layers unless if they're exfoliating toners. So I do have a bunch of exfoliating toners and normal toners. So the first exfoliating toner is yeah, this one is the Pixie Glow Glow Tonic. So I only have a small one because I just wanted to try it out and uh, it's not bad. It's a 5% glycolic acid toner but I think K Beauty brands um, do exfoliating toner much better so yeah. I didn't repurchase that one. The next one I have is, this one is from Jumiso, so it's the Yes I Am toner. So this one is also a 5% AHA toner. It's alcohol free but it's an AHA toner, so I do not recommend layering this one on but I enjoy using this. Okay, the next exfoliating toner I have is the Aloe BHA Skin Toner. So this one is also about 0.5%. BHA, so it's really minimal but I also do not layer this one. I really enjoy this one, it helped keep my blackheads at bay. And the last exfoliating toner I have is this AHA BHA PHA toner from Miracle Toner from Some By Me. So it's a good chemical exfoliating toner but it's not a miracle, <laughs> yeah clearly as you can see. But it's but it's still a good toner and I do recommend it. Um, out of all the exfoliating toners, I would say my favorite is this Benton Benton AHA Aloe BHA toner as well as this Jumi So Yes I Am toner. As for normal toners, I have one of these Mario Badescu facial spray with aloe, cucumber, and green tea. It's, it's nothing special, it's just a spray. I used it up anyway. And then, one of the hydrating toner I have here is the Claire's Supple Preparation Unscented Toner. So I tried out the unscented version, and it's a quite a viscous toner. It was really hydrating. I enjoyed using this a lot. And the next toner is this Etude Ha Sunjong PH 5.5 Relief Toner. So this is a really no frills, did a really good job at hydrating my skin and it did not irritate your skin, my skin at all. So if you think your skin uh, is a bit irritated or compromised, your skin barrier is not doing too well, I would really recommend you picking up this toner. It's really simple and hydrating so yep it's great the next toner actually is this beauty water from sun and park so i bought this a long time ago when there was this craze about this beauty water um i don't remember really but i think this is also a more of an exfoliating toner yeah like it's quite all right it's all right I, this toner I have is the Mamonde, Mamon, Mamonde Rose Water Toner. This is a really popular toner and I actually I love the scent but the scent is probably not good for you but I really like it. It's pretty good so yeah. And the last toner I the last essence I have here is this Routine. So this is a local Malaysian brand. It's a purely brightening and treatment essence. So this is the first essence that I've ever finished and I think it's really nice. Um, it had a little bit of... Um, so it contains rose, rosemary oil which I know it could be sensitizing for some people but it also has rose seed extract so it's good for your pigmentation and overall brightening of your skin. So it's meant for brightening, spot correcting and hydrating. But I think it's quite good. So yeah finished using that one and that's all for my toners let's move on to my essence so i have a few essence here today and 
essence serum and pulls all of this up we're gonna put it into the same category so i did not finish this there's still quite a bit left this is the ordinary retinol the ordinary retinol one percent in squalene <sighs> this broke my skin out but i think i was a little bit too ambitious by taking one percent retinol and i think my skin was not ready for that so but now I'm using a, the inkyless one and I think it's working much better for me. So I have here three of LAF Lost and Found toner. Uh not toner. Lost and Found ampoules. So I have the water bomb ampoules. So I have two of these water bomb ampoules. One is in the bigger original packaging and one is the smaller one uh, that I bought a long time ago because it was the adventure time. It's so an yeah. alright ampoule. Like it really did moisturize my skin, it did not irritate my skin at all and I think after using it, my skin felt very hydrated. And I also have this one, it's the Pore, Pore and Calming Ampoule. It was meant for a more troubled skin and this was a really nice one as well. And yeah, but it's really small and I used it up pretty quickly. So the next one I have here is this Claire's. Claire's Midnight Blue Youth Activating Drop. So I use this for my under eye because I have pretty bad fine lines and I think this was a very nice one. It contained EGFM peptides so that's those ingredients are meant for anti-aging. The next one I have here is the It's Skin. So this one is in the Power 10 Formula YE Effector with yeast polypeptides. So again, this is another anti-aging one. Um, it's a very simple formula and uh, affordable ampules that you can get then you can try out um, different ingredients because they have all, a lot of different kind of ingredients just that this one is the ye effector one skin 1000 and for madagascar centella asiatica 100 ampoule so i really like this ampoule and it came in a really large bottle so it was um nice and soothing uh I used to have really red and irritated skin and after I used this, I found that the redness was significantly reduced so I do recommend this one and they already reformulated I don't think they already reformulated but I haven't gotten around to trying the newer version but the old one was really good as well okay. so this is one of my recent empties so it's the Make Prem and Credit Dink Soothing serum with 10% tomato oil. This was godsend. I really enjoyed using this one. Um, so, because of the amount of chemical exfoliants I used, I think my skin was a little bit compromised and a little bit irritated. But this was such a soothing serum, and I really, 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 really recommend this one. So, I'll either repurchase this one or get the um, Crave. Great Barrier Relief Serum next, but this was a very good, good, good serum. And the last serum I have here is the Jumiso All Day Vitamin Brightening and Balancing Facial Serum. So this really helped, like, get rid of a lot of my acne marks and it really brightened my skin. And I love it. And I've already I've repurchased the new one, and I'll be trying using that one too soon. So the first moisturizer, it'll be this Sunjong, Sunjong Tan Free in Moist Emulsion. So this one, like the toner, no frills moisturizer. And I used it more in the morning because it wasn't as hydrating as the cream. And the next moisturizer I have is this Ethel Palm Real Barrier. Real Barrier Intense Moisture Cream. So I really enjoyed this one. Um, I, but I used it up really fast. Yeah, it's totally gone. And it was. And it has 50 ml. So it's a bit a bit small. But it was a really good hydrating cream. And I think it's suitable for people who it does damage skin barrier. So I really do recommend this one. So, yeah. Okay, the next one that I have is this Claire's Rich Moist Soothing Cream. Yes, this is a really good hydrating thick cream. Um, it really forms a good occlusive layer over your skin so you will not be losing your moisture when you sleep at night. Okay. Okay, 
And the next one I have is this uh, First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. So I used this moisturizer a really long time ago and I really enjoyed using it. But for some reason, sometimes it would cause a little bit of a burning sensation on my skin. And other times it doesn't. So although I think it's really nice moisturizer, uh, maybe something in it is not suitable for me. So I used this up but I already moved on to different moisturizers. Yeah. So and the next one I have is this Dr. G Dr. G Barrier Activator Cream. So this is their old packaging. So it, it was the one that contains filagrin. Filagrin so they already reformulated and repackaged and I'm using it now. This one didn't have a really strong scent but the new one has a pretty funky scent but I think it's pretty good so it's still really nice to use and it really does hydrate my skin so I still recommend this Dr. G Barrier Activator Cream. It's really good. I really enjoy Dr. G product. Moving on to sunscreen. So I have one that is the spray version. So this one is the Innisfree Eco Safety Aqua Sun Mist. Um, mist ones, I feel that they leak really easily so that's something I don't really enjoy. So I probably won't repurchase any more mist ones but they are easier to reapply. Yeah. Next I have here is the Biore UV Aqua Rich Watery Essence. So this is the same as the blue packaging. But this one had, I think, either rose, rose uh, essence in it, and uh, this is really good. It protects your skin, and this one is a SPF 50 plus, PA plus plus plus, so four pluses. Uh, so it adequately protects your skin from the sun, and I really do recommend it. And it fa it's fast absorbing, and yeah, makes your skin really smooth and protected. So. Next, I have here two of this Apu Pure Block Natural Sun Cream. So this one is SPF 45 and PA++++, plus plus plus, 3 plus this. I bought this because it was really affordable. It was affordable and it did well. It didn't leave a white cast on me. So yeah. The next one I have is the Misha Essence Sun SPF 45 PA++++ plus plus plus. So this one also is like an essence and it absorbs really easily and I this is one of my favorite sunscreens and I already bought backups and backups I really enjoy this one. Last one I have here is the Cosrx Aloe Soothing Sun Cream. So I found this one a bit a little bit too thick for my skin. Uh, it has SPF 50 plus and PA triple plus. Um, I know this is a lot of people's favorite favorite sunscreen but for me I don't really enjoy um, now I'm using the Pareto um, green level unscented one and I really enjoy that one much more than this one but to each their own uh, now I have two here the Batiste dry shampoo and my favorite is this one is the Plano fruity and cheeky cherry so this one is good for days that my hair feels a little bit greasy so I'll just spray it in but you gotta be careful because it does leave a right powdery residue behind so make sure you push it in the last empty I have here is the Daiso puff not puff yeah puff and sponge detergent so I use this to clean up all my facial puff and brushes and it does a really good job and it's from Daiso so it's really affordable and easy to find so uh, that's it for my empties this time and I know I have a lot of empties this time around and I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!